back in 2002, um, the fairly new head of restoration, a guy by the name of Colvin Granham, invited me out here. Uh, our organization was not funding restoration at the time. He said he had a couple of ideas. Now, 12 years later, I, I didn't think he wanted to take the wall down, build a plaza, create a bid, add some lighting and a whole bunch of other things. But I think, you know, the big hero today, quite frankly, is the entire family of restoration. And they deserve a big round of applause. Bethesda Stuyvesant and Restoration Corporation has been a leader in comprehensive community development. We've been focusing on placemaking, which includes creating public spaces, more commercial spaces, um, housing along the commercial corridor, which is also transit-oriented and energy-efficient. What Restoration has done is beautiful. I enjoy it. I love it. They gave me a new ceiling. They gave me new windows. They gave me a pantry. They gave me a coat closet. And then they made my other closet. Let me show you what they did to this closet. When I'm eight years old, my mom took me to a dance class at Bedside Restoration. We lived on Albany and Fulton Street. To have Restoration be the place where I took my first dance class, the place where I have rehearsed with evidence for the past 10 years. Now I'll have an office of Restoration. And that is kind of an amazing um, story for me and the company. We focused on financial independence and financial stability for families, which includes financial coaching and counseling, job placement, as well as um, training for individuals who are searching for jobs. When I came to Restoration, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I knew I was gonna get help in the areas that I need. When I met Jacko and Willie, um, they're nice. They're, they're, they, play, they seem like they really like their job. And they both um, basically coached me and said, you, these are the things you need to work on. Um, and they went through my resume and helped me with my resume. And I finally got a hold of a job. I was like, this is good. Individuals in the community have to be healthy in order to be stable in the workforce. Our work has been focusing on building coalitions to address health disparities such as obesity, hypertension. That is what we need to live, with fresh fruits and vegetables. And so when you walk in here, you see a wide array of fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's what we want to see, I think, in a lot of supermarkets and grocery stores is an abundance and variety of good quality produce. I love the amount of selflessness that Restoration has. The dedication that it has to the community is phenomenal. It doesn't ask for anything in return, only for whoever comes into the stores to gain as much as they can gain, whether it's through employment, whether it's through education, whether it's through arts and culture. It's all about providing the, the, the community with some sort of um, golden opportunities. And I love that. I love the time that everyone provides. I love just the, the love that everyone generally has for the community. It's priceless.